Hello people! So you bought an ENET cable and a USB adapter to use Beamer code and Beamer link on your phone to code your BMW and you found out it doesn't work. What's the deal? Well, most likely your phone doesn't support Ethernet. If you're like me and you found out too late that none of your mobile phones or tablets support Ethernet, this is going to save you from buying another phone. No Ethernet support is common on devices like Xiaomi, Pocophone and Motorola. No worries though, you can easily get Pimmer code to work with any laptop you have, even MacBooks with Windows installed. I will link all the equipment and software I used in the description. My Xiaomi Lite 5G and my wife's Motorola G6 don't support Ethernet at all, which made using Beamer code and Beamer link impossible. If when you plug in your Enet cable uh, to your phone and the Ethernet option doesn't pop up in the settings, you have the same problem. If you'd like to still use your Enet cable, well, all you need is a laptop. A Mac or a PC, doesn't really matter. Let's get started. The reason to even use an Enet cable over a Bluetooth dongle is much faster transfer speeds and much more reliability. Uh, we're using a cable, not Bluetooth, so at least I have a better peace of mind doing this with a cable. You can also use this method even if you don't have problems and you just want to use your laptop for this. Makes it really easy to switch between ISTA diagnostics tool and Beamer link when they're on the same device. The very first thing you need to do is buy Beamer code and or Beamer link on your phone or tablet. Whatever phone you're using currently, just go to the Play Store and buy the software from there, even if Ethernet doesn't work on your phone. We just need to tie it in with your Google account for now. Once you've purchased the apps, take out your laptop. Don't plug in anything yet and keep your Wi-Fi or wired internet connection up. We need to download something called BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator. This is completely legal since Android is open source and we paid for the apps. Don't go into Google and try finding some fishy APKs for Beamer code, just buy the software and help developers out. The method in which we are doing this is completely legal. Once BlueStacks has been downloaded and installed, go ahead and go to the bottom right and click settings. Go to device settings and select Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus as your device profile because at least that one has Ethernet capability. Save the changes. Go ahead and open the Play Store and sign in with your Google credentials. According to BlueStacks and countless of people online, they respect all privacy laws and encrypt your login, so you should have no privacy concerns here, but if you don't feel like doing this, then you're out of luck. I've personally used Android emulators for years without problems. Once you've signed in, it's better to disable Google Drive for now. Now you can use BlueStacks just like a normal Android phone. To see and swap between all open apps, click this icon at the bottom right. Go to the Play Store and download Beamer code and or Beamer link, whichever you're using. Both, if that's the case. Once they have been downloaded, go ahead and open Beamer code. It's going to download some necessary files first. Be sure to give the app the required permissions. Now, at the bottom it will still tell you to purchase the app, but since we've already done that, go ahead and click purchase. It will tell you that you already own it and there has been an error. Do the same for Beamer Link. Now close BlueStacks and launch it again. If you open the apps now, they have been unlocked and ready to go. The purchase text is gone. On both apps, go to the upper right hand corner and click settings. Change the connection type to Enet cable. Now, the last step before we can go to our car. Press Windows and R, as in run. Type in ncpa.cpl. This will bring you to the network settings window. Disable your Wi-Fi connection if you have one, or better yet, disable every other connection apart from Ethernet. You do this by right-clicking and selecting disable. Now right-click Ethernet and select properties. Select TCP IP4 and click properties again. If you see some numeric values here, write them down or take a screenshot in the case you need to put this back in later for your internet to work. Click use the following IP address. Put in the IP 169.254.250.250, subnet mask 255.255.0.0. Leave everything else empty. Click OK. These settings are mandatory for the connection to work between Beamer code and your car. Close the open windows. Remember to go back and revert these IP settings later if you use your Ethernet connection for your internet. Otherwise, you can leave them like this and you don't have to ever do this again. You're now ready to connect the laptop to your car. I have a MacBook, so I need to use an adapter for the Enet cable. Uh, this is uh, Ethernet to USB-C. If you have an Ethernet port, just use that outright. 
I'm not familiar with Android emulators on OS X, but I've installed Windows on my machine. This might work with uh, OS X, but I have no idea. I'll leave that for you to figure out. At least you know the basics. I just recommend installing Windows myself. Let's head into the car. Turn on the ignition on your car and close any features that might use your battery. You can provide additional charge to your battery during this if you think it's on its last legs. I'm not going to do that since I just tested the battery. Plug your OBD end of the cable into the car. The port is under the driver's side glove box on an F30 BMW and usually it's pretty much in the same location on most cars. Now plug the Ethernet end to your laptop and launch BlueStacks. Open Beamer code and press connect. It's going to ask you for the model of your car so select that and now it's gonna run the necessary tests and then boot right up. And there we go, not too difficult. Now you can code whatever you wanted to code, just like you would with a phone. You've just passed the Ethernet limitation of your phone by using a laptop. And if you're using ISTA diagnostics, you can now easily run both with the same laptop and the connection is fast and secure. Enjoy! Thank you for watching and leave a like if this helped you.